reading a reading from the second book of samuel chapter 15 verses 13 to 14 30 and chapter 16 verses 5 to 13 a messenger reported to david the israelites are pledging their loyalty to absalom so david said to all his officials who were with him in jerusalem we must get away at once if we want to escape from Absalom. Hurry, or else he will soon be here and defeat us and kill everyone in the city. David went on up the Mount of Olives, crying. He was barefoot and had his head covered as a sign of grief. All who followed him covered their heads, and cried also. When David was told that Ahithophel had joined Absalom's rebellion, he prayed, Please, Lord, turn Ahithophel's advice into nonsense. When King David arrived at Bahurim, one of Saul's relatives, Shimei, son of Jira, came out to meet him cursing him as he came. Shimei started throwing stones at David and his officials. Even though David was surrounded by his men and his bodyguards, Shimei cursed him and said, Get out, get out, murderer, criminal. You took Saul's kingdom and now the Lord is punishing you for murdering so many of Saul's family. The Lord has given the kingdom to your son Absalom, and you are ruined, you murderer. Abishai, whose mother was Zeruiah, said to the king, Your majesty, why do you let this dog curse you? Let me go over there and cut off his head. This is none of your business, the king said to Abishai and his brother Joab. If he curses me because the Lord told him to, who has the right to ask why he does it? And David said to Abishai and to all his officials, My own son is trying to kill me. So why should you be surprised at this Benjaminite? The Lord told him to curse, so leave him alone and let him do it. Perhaps the Lord will notice my misery and give me some blessings to take the place of his curse. So David and his men continued along the road. Shimei kept up with them, walking on the hillside. He was cursing and throwing stones and dirt at them as he went. The Word of the Lord Are you happy of what God has done for you? Today, let us reflect on it. Now, let us move on to the Word of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus and his disciples arrived on the other side of Lake Galilee in the territory of Gerasa. As soon as Jesus got out of the boat, he was met by a man who came out of the burial caves there. This man had an evil spirit in him and lived among the tombs. Nobody could keep him tied with chains anymore. Many times his feet and his hands had been tied, 
but every time he broke the chains and smashed the irons on his feet. He was too strong for any to control him. Day and night he wandered among the tombs and through the hills, screaming and cutting himself with stones. He was some distance away when he saw Jesus. So he ran, fell on his knees before him and screamed in a loud voice, Jesus, Son of the Most High God, what do you want with me? For God's sake, I beg you, don't punish me. He said this because Jesus was saying, Evil spirit, come out of this man. So Jesus asked him, What is your name? The man answered, My name is Mob. There are so many of us. And he kept begging Jesus not to send the evil spirits out of that region. There was a large herd of pigs nearby, feeding on a hillside. So the spirits begged Jesus, Send us to the pigs and let us go into them. He let them go, and the evil spirits went out of the man and entered the pigs. The whole herd, about 2,000 pigs in all, rushed down the side of the cliff into the lake and was drowned. The men who had been taking care of the pigs ran away and spread the news in the town and among the farms. People went out to see what had happened. And when they came to Jesus, they saw the man who used to have the mob of demons in him. He was sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, and they were all afraid. Those who had seen it told the people what had happened to the man with the demons and about the pigs. So they asked Jesus to leave their territory. As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had the demons begged him, Let me go with you. But Jesus would not let him. Instead, he told him, Go back home to your family and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how kind he is. So the man left and went all through the ten towns, telling what Jesus had done for him. And all who heard it were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Are you happy of what Jesus had done for you in your life? Today, most of us forget the wonders God has done in our lives. Because of our ulterior motives, or because of our own selfishness, sometimes we tend to forget God. We seem to forget His wondrous works in our lives. Today, if you had listened to the Holy Gospel, you would see the people who owned the pigs, especially the people in that particular town, wanted to let Jesus move away from them because their pigs were destroyed. They wanted Jesus to move away from them. Have you chased Jesus from your life because of personal glorification? Have you put away Jesus from your life because you wanted to do certain things on your own? Have you kept Jesus away from your family because you had other needs and wants which you wanted to fulfill? My dear friends in Jesus Christ, today we see the power of evil in our society. Wherever we go, we see how much people are taken away by the evil spirits. 
evil spirits coming in the form of technology evil spirits coming in the form of various selfish attitudes my dear friends in jesus christ we need to ask jesus to purify our society to purify our families to purify our souls to make us pure and holy in the presence of lord but if you are going to do that request you need to struggle against the evil one you need to fight against the satan you need to say no to certain evil things that you are doing you say need to say no to the evil thoughts which you are entertaining in your minds if you are ready to fight against the satan with the power of jesus then definitely jesus will purify you jesus will purify and cleanse your family from all evil stains jesus will make this society a beautiful place to live so let us have these thoughts in our minds god bless you sri vachana